Just a bloke in a bar. Sam Walker. He may be making his debut at 18 years old. Yes. He is the next throbber for the Roosters. On the weekend, three try assists against uh, uh, your your reserve grade team. Um, not not the first guys that got beaten by Roosters, your actual reserve grade Sorry, side. Sorry, that's... Don't, please don't, don't start having a crack yeah, at that. I'm just saying, like, your actual side. reserve grade side. I'm saying... Yeah, 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 um, so, Sam Walker, you know, prodigy. But what's crazy, and I kind of feel like it's a conspiracy. When it comes to Roosters, I'm all about conspiracies, even though most of them aren't true. But I feel like there is... They want everyone looking at Suwali instead of looking at Sam Walker, who is the half, and actually the halves are the, you know, the immortals, the fucking, yeah. we all look, they're, they're the big the big players. The game winners. And so he may be debuting this week. And have you seen any of Sam Walker? Obviously he's the, the nephew or son or whatever of, um, One of the Ben Walker, Walker, and then Chris Walker is his uncle. Have you seen any of his highlights or anything? No, I haven't seen any. Actually, you know what? I feel like you maybe did some, I did a did a thing with yep. his highlights, mm. uh, I don't know, a couple of years ago or a year ago or something like that. I remember seeing him then. But you did a few of those, and being a manly loyalist, I don't care too much about Roosters okay. Juniors. But, I mean, the guy's clearly a throbber. It's just what pisses me off about the Roosters, and this might be, you know, a, a well-trodden path here, but every single time they bring someone through, they're a fucking throbber. Mm. I do like your, uh, your, your tinfoil hat vibe, though, about like, oh, look at shiny, hot, six-foot-eight Joseph Suwali while over here we're bringing in an even hotter Sam Walker. Look, you could go down that tinfoil <coughs> path, but Suwali's just hot. Yeah, he is. I mean, and yeah. you can't you can't tell people you can't tell the people <laughs> that he's not hot. No, Do that's you know true. what I mean? That's true. Yeah. So, like, you could argue that, but I don't think so. This Sam Walker kid, though, I've got him on my bench in Supercoach because I heard he was a throbber. He is a throbber, but I haven't seen anything. Mm. I haven't seen a goddamn okay. thing. So you okay. signed him on throb throbbery. I alone. signed him on throbbery alone. So there was a throbbing throughout so, like, the community there's a narrative that you felt. Out there. Yeah. There's a narrative about Okay, there, okay. So sure. there is a kind of underground throbbing happening in the 100%. community right now that you are tapped into. I've tapped into it. Okay, fair enough, yeah. fair enough. Um, what is interesting, though, is that the Roosters are kind of like the Broncos of early 2000s because they seem to get the big super... Like, the best in the country coming out of school. Even if they sign with another club, Sawali, they'll still get him. Cash. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, it, allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. 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 <laughs> We're alleging that it's cash. Um, of course, it's all alleged. But, but it's, this, it's this weird thing where, you know, does it start bringing in arguments for drafts and everything like that? Because you, you have to ask yourself, like, it's this self kind of perpetuating cycle where the best clubs are managing to get not just Sam Walker, who is once in a generational talent, they're getting Suwali as well. And if we had a draft, you can't do that. Mm. And so would you guys like to see a draft in rugby league? I heard, and this was a while ago, I don't know if this is still, you know, fits the current mould, but I heard that drafts weren't a preferred option because a lot of these boys come from hard upbringings mm. and keeping them in their support networks is the best thing for them at those fragile ages. Like yep. if you're taking a kid out of West and Sydney and taking him all the yep. way up to, you know, North Queensland, for example, it's sometimes not the best thing for them. That was the argument I heard. Yep. Whether or not that's a bit old hat, I don't know. Mm. Would I like to see a draft personally? Yeah. 100% would cool. I would. would be What's cool. good about the draft that the AFL has over us? Like, the AFL off-season has the draft. The NRL off-season has the NRL off-season. So controversy. Like, controversy. Yeah. Which is, you know, for what we do, Fantastic. delightful. <laughs> Love it. We trade in. We trade in. <laughs> but trade in misery. Well, not misery. Not misery. Okay. Not misery. We're certainly not uh, purveyors <laughs> of misery, but we are purveyors <laughs> of, like, fucking just crazy ass. Scal scallywag behaviour. Scallywag behaviour. Yeah. yeah. And things that you that no, not even the greatest riders on planet Earth could foresee. <laughs> so true. So in the true. NRL off season, you uh, you know you know what I mean. Um, but with a draft, like I guess there's probably a bit more there. Like I do get a bit jealous in the VFL in that sense where they're all there's just always something going on in their off season. Mm. Well, because they've got the draft, they've got the trade window now. I'm pretty sure where you can trade in a certain period. Yeah. Um, I think that as we see, you know, the top sides, it seems like they're like the top six seem to slowly move away from the, the bottom fucking 10 or whatever. We were talking about that the other day. And it just seems like, it doesn't like name a bottom six side that could genuinely win the premiership. Well, I mean, Manly is coming last yeah. at the moment. Right well, probably really Manly at this point. <laughs> <laughs> no vice, no vice. No, 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 no vice. Well, Manly are a big shot. Yeah, yeah. Well, we <laughs> premiership were, every decade. Yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit, um, you, you don't ever want to get to the point where you're like the Premier League, where you kind of, say, exactly. except for Leicester, like you, you know, you know exactly who's going to win. To back to, to round back to your original point, <laughs> I was talking about that the other day with people at the pub. I think that the best teams are getting further away mm. because of their ability to identify 
talent young, bring mm. him into systems that no one else has, mm. keep them, you know, around coaches that are better than everyone else's. Mm. And so, like, all that stuff sits outside the salary cap. Exactly. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, for the Storm, as an example, when was the last big signing they made? Literally, uh, Michael Crocker about 16 years ago. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Like, so you can't sit there and say mm. that the salary cap is going to have much effect on them. Mm. Because they keep their core players and then just bring in people that will do a job yep. around them. That's a good system. Yeah. Which is like, how do you regulate that? Well, like you look at the Suwali situation, like the Roosters managed to steal off the Rabbitohs. Yeah. That, that you know, good on the kid. He's gone to a club he wants. Not having a crack at the kid. But that shouldn't be able to happen. You know what I mean? Like they've, they've identified him. They've put, you know, that the, he signed the contract, I'm pretty sure. But the power of the Roosters outside the calorie this this you know intangible power has worked now that's worked on the biggest superstar in the game think of all of the non-superstars it works on yeah and it just like gets it just snowballs snowballs and as you said look at the storm continues to, and now, now taking nothing away from the storm's systems broncos used to do it all the time like we used to get the best of the best you know look at for the guys we've lost now but you look at for feeders you look at all those guys that have come through like every club would have wanted them now they're obviously the titans but i think something does need to be put in place whether it's a draft or whatever to balance out, for example, no offense, but you know, Manly's depth, it's not the best. No. And systems not. coming through, they have very not that great systems, you know? <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, I mean, but, Do you know what I mean? How could they compete against the Roosters? Well, it's tough, but we did also give birth to the Dravojevic brothers. Yeah, we birthed them. You but know what we, I mean? I the mean, Peninsula to, birthed them. Yeah, yeah. But, but that's, we, that's the problem, though. You yeah. get these one or two throbbers. And then and we then aren't able to... Usually, I thought a lot of clubs would, like, hang their hat on a couple of throbbers and try and use them to attract other people. You know what I mean? Mm. Whereas I don't feel like Manly's been able to do that as much as I would have expected the Trebojevic's. Whereas I feel like someone like Melbourne, although they don't get your stars, like, people want to go to Melbourne because of they've got weapons yep. in their duffel bag. The Roosters, the same thing. But obviously, you know, you talk about the intangible and the ethereal, and, like, I mean, we kind of... When you talk about that with the Roosters, people... Russell Crowe was interviewed by uh, Andrew Webster of uh, Sydney Morning Herald fame. And he was basically like going as far as to say, he was like, we offered Swally the same amount of money and as the Roosters did, but he went to the Roosters and just sort of left it open. It was like, why do you reckon that was? Mm. Mm. And it just happens right in front of your fucking face, and there's nothing you can do about it. But I a draft it. could fix that. A draft, well, that's exactly. it. Right? A draft, well, could a draft fix it. would fix it. Yeah. So, it's but uh, then if we lost the Traboy, if we lost Tom Traboy, which because of a draft, no, I'm no, I'm talking about a draft, draft like as of now. Yeah, yeah, right. So obviously, you don't do it. But I'm saying you don't do lost, it. You don't do it in the past. No, but I'm saying if you did it, if you knew that you had a Peninsula born and bred, you know. So they could they could introduce some kind of like compensation for like if you can prove that they have come through the system, a junior exemption, you know, um, something along those lines. Mm. But I do think something needs to happen because it does seem like that top four, top six, the gap between that and the bottom sides, with the new rule change as well, it just it just seems to be widening. Maybe it's alarmist kind of chat, but it does seem to so. be widening. No, it's not alarmist. I don't think so. Yeah, I look okay. at the West Tigers with all due respect, mm. and I go, I don't see you winning another comp. Mm. Yeah, I don't see it happening. No, nah. ever. Ever, <laughs> like the like it'll be done. Yeah. Who's winning? Who's winning a comp first? Para eels or tigers? Tigers, because the eels are actually they'll. Well, I, I mean, it's, the that's eels a will never win one. The I eels can't win one no. before the sun explodes. <laughs> they're, so they're, by they're, definition, you would say West. But I'm, I mean, I'm not putting them out of the realms. They of, could also be in the the race the, of the against. The, the they're dying in the race sun. for the the dying sun. It's about yeah. five billion years. Hey, fi it's about five billion years. Give or take. We've, yeah. Look, we've talked to scientists. We've crunched the numbers. The data we're getting back, down in, it's around five billion. Um, but obviously, okay. that's a cons that's an estimate. Yeah, it's an estimate. A guesstimate. It's a gu is it an estimate or a guesstimate? It's an educated guess. No, it's an estimate. Okay, okay, okay. I'll take that then. I'll take that. But, um, but yep. yeah, so look, the guess tigers. implies we've done right. No research. Yeah. <laughs> and you've done that research. Okay, yeah. okay. <laughs> yeah. So draft, if you could do it tomorrow, yes or no? Yes. Yes. Yeah, I think so. I think it needs to happen. I think tomorrow, that not like when Tommy was coming through. No, okay. no, not retroactively. <laughs> so if you could lose Schuster tomorrow, no? Fuck no. Okay. But Again, but we've already got him. So yeah, like, that's why we're probably doing probably going to lose him anyway, if I'm being Dude, honest. stop. You keep putting this out there in the universe. <laughs> Josh is staying at Manly. When he wasn't named, we'll get to Manly, but like, fuck me. I was just like, please just put him in. <laughs> keep him out. When I, when hey, I we're going to lose Deedon as well, probably, and he's fucking throbbing. He's actually played 17 in a row games. He's True. Good. When I read yeah, that the, uh, the starting lineup was unchanged, <laughs> I thought... <laughs> 
That's an interesting <laughs> decision. Yeah. Cade Cuss scores a hat trick on the weekend. At least Cade's in though. He's in the bench. And one of the things that we've always said is that every rugby league team worth its salt needs a Cade in the side. There's just something about having a Cade that's mm. good for the team. Think about that. Cades are the spiritual leaders in any side. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. I should be like I'm like a Cade. You okay. should even though my name's Cade. not Cade. Okay, Cade another life, pretty much. I'll have a son. If I have a son, his name will be Cade. <laughs> Cade. <laughs>